Hello, and welcome to another video. Now, in this video, I'm going to show you guys how to use an Xbox One Elite Controller, well, in my case, it's Xbox One Elite Controller, on your Xbox 360. But you can do this for Xbox One, PS4, PS3, and Xbox 360. So you can use all those controllers on all those consoles. And you can actually use the Wii U Pro Controller, as long as it's a Bluetooth one, and a Bluetooth... Wiimote, you can use those on the uh, on those consoles as well. And you can't with the Wii U or the Wii for some reason, but anyways. Um, in my case, I'm going to show you how to use an Xbox One controller or an Xbox One Elite controller. Because you can see, I can... Let's actually put on the old disc D-pad. I'm going to show you how to use this controller on an Xbox 360. Now, if you didn't know, normally you can't use this controller on an Xbox 360 because it just won't work, it just won't connect. But I'm going to make it connect with a product called the Titan One, which looks like this. And what it does is it, well, what it, it'll let you use those control on the controllers on the consoles I mentioned a minute ago. And it says Titan right there, it says Titan One on the back. And what you can do is you have your doge you just get your doge and just just, just watch your doge no you don't you don't do that that's that has nothing to do with it but uh, i guess i'll show you guys my doge i have a doge this, this is going to be the new doge meme right here let's, let's look at it she looks mad at me she's like stop stop recording me anyways so we have this and all you got to do is plug it in to your console, the console of your choice. And for some reason, I have a bunch of random controllers on because I was testing some stuff on Battlebox Theater. It, and now it'll have a U, flashing the letters A and U, which means it's waiting for authentication. So grab your Xbox 360 controller wire thing. Now, shout out to 10 Minute Vids for actually getting me that white controller you saw because my wired controller broke sadly you know how it won't turn on because of the wire broken you know that thing so that happened to me thank you to him for giving me this controller I will have I will be awesome if you could subscribe to him card right there annotation please do he's really awesome don't press X on the annotation bro plus bro plus anyways so you simply just authenticate it and it should just flash to a certain number. It should start at zero for you, but I've installed some rapid fire mods and stuff. And now you can just unplug it and plug in your PS4 controller, or Xbox One controller, whatever. You get the point, or PS3 controller. And we go back to here. It's now on. Now, normally this just flash and try to connect, but it wouldn't work. So I'm going to show you guys how it works. Now. I'm on the dashboard because I want to show you this is Xbox 360 dashboard. And if you don't know, oh, let me turn the light off so you can see it better. Okay. If you didn't know, <laughs> I don't know. I was I was about to repeat something I said earlier for some reason. I do that. I don't know why. Anyways, um, I'm on the dashboard. So if okay, if you didn't know, you can't get to the dashboard. Uh, Xbox 360 dashboard on Xbox One. So this is, is Xbox 360, and you might think I'm controlling with the 360 controller. However, I'm not. Here's with an Xbox One controller. Now, I actually have a 360 controller right here, which is a different account. Anyways, oh no, it's launching a game I don't want to launch. No, I don't want to play Angry Birds Star Wars. Now you might be wondering why I'm not screen capping this, because guys, show you it's real. Because, you know, 90% of the YouTube population is people saying, FAKE! Alright, so let's go into a local match. I don't know if you can hear the audio. I hope you can. Alright, so, let's skip this intro. Now, if you see, I'm jumping. And now I press LT, which I've turboed. Which is pretty cool. I also do the Y button. So yeah, Xbox One Elite controller on Xbox 360. Now, <sighs> I'm going to get onto the computer. Alright, now that we're on the computer, uh, we can... Alright, uh, let's turn the light on, because we're uh, 
It's too dark in here. Okay. So we got our controllers here. And we're just gonna grab that. And alright, let's put it somewhere convenient. Let's just put it right there. Alright, so uh, let's actually just put it back over here. And let's get back on the computer. And we are going to go to GTuner Pro, which is the pro you need GTuner Pro to for the rapid fire mods and stuff. And I'm gonna show you some basic modifications. Like here's the turbo. You just what you just uh, choose the console of your choice here. Drag it over here, and then you just pick this. Now I've added this tab thing, which this is not part of the turbo. Oh goodness! Like it. Oh. <laughs> Okay, this isn't usually there, so it looks like this. This is what the turbo looks like, and you could just set it to. It should work fine at 40. And then, once you press a certain button on the controller, it just it just goes crazy. Anyway, it's pretty simple, I guess, and it works with the 360 controller. You can have turbo no matter what controller is plugged into, as long as it's plugged into the Titan one. And then you just have to have your Doge just memeing, and then. That's oh goodness, this is this is all over the place. And then it's really easy, you just drag this and just select the button. That's really all you gotta do for the max speed of knit awesomeness. And then you can go over here and for some reason Oh Okay, let's go back on the messy floor of wires and cords. You need to plug in this into your PC program thing. Now if you don't have one of these you can use a Wii U Pro Controller charger which is pretty MLG and you just plug that in and now we can actually let's go over here Ugh. if you see right there you got the these for some reason and you have the random quarter but that that is does so random so you see that light I'm gonna change it to green like magic whoa I'm actually gonna change it back it's not really magic, you kind of saw me do it. So you can just change this. And you can change like this stuff, and you can change it to the tournament thing or whatever. You get the point. Let's change it back to purple. And now, you see, that's not, that's really it for that. And you got your, we're back to the controllers, and why is this thing off? What the heck? Why? No. Turn on. Yeah. I don't know why it went out like that, it's weird. Alright, let's plug it in. There we go. Alright, we're back. Alright. So, we can also see here you can um, go to the. What is it? Ah. Plugins. You can just install the plugins really easy. And we go to Game Record and. Let's just simply record me jumping and spiking. So, like this. Whoa. Whoa, crazy. And now, we can stop recording. And now that we've stopped recording, we can play it again. Look at that. That's crazy. Oh. <laughs> He's just moving on his own. Cause see, look, the controller. Oh, he's. T All right, ready. All right, let me play it again. All right. Boop. You see here. I ain't doing that. It's pretty cool. Anyways, I think that's pretty neat. And let's go back and do a different thing. Plugins. We could do max aim, which means we can actually control the game with a keyboard which is amazing. Look at this. See? Spacebar? I'm jumping. That's cool. And you can configure it to whatever you want. And yeah, that's pretty much it. It's not all I really got to show you guys. And oh yeah, you press control escape to get out of the capture mode. So that's pretty much it. So if you found this video useful and stuff like that, Maybe consider subscribing and liking the stuff, you know, supportive.
and subscribe to 10 minute vids cuz you know he gave me this which is pretty MLG couldn't have done this video without him and uh, yeah, that's pretty much it mm.